The Anti-Cruelty Society has published a cookbook. It's filled with treats given to dogs waiting at the Society for their forever homes. And joining us now to talk more about it, John Ryan Griggs, the Anti-Cruelty Society art director and owner of Abby, who you can see in the bottom part of the corner there. She graces the cover of this book. Thanks for joining us, John Ryan. Thanks for having me. Listen, this is a really fun time to come out with a cookbook, no matter who you are, doing it for our dogs. And as many of us know, those are our babies. This is really fun. Tell us about your new cookbook. Uh, sure. So the Anti-Cruelty Society staff and volunteers have worked together to compile dog <laughs> recipes in the Anti-Cruelty Society Community Cookbook for Dogs. Okay, John Ryan, would you please give that dog a treat? Yeah, she's so Abby. excited to be on TV right now. She is uh, a little hungry. You, you have spoiled her rotten. Let's get straight to some of these great recipes that she knows all too well. We've got up here the peanut butter pup cakes. Tell us about this, this one for our dogs this Christmas. Yeah, so uh, that one is kind of an easy to make um, miniature cupcake. I mean, you can make them full size too. But, you know, with just a few simple ingredients, you put them together, all with human ingredients, pop mm -hmm. them in the oven, and then you've got a healthy treat for your animal. <laughs> Abby is hungry. You did not feed that dog breakfast. They are so, I wanted to tell you, we're looking at the pictures of these. That was a little cupcake looking version. This one looks more like a biscuit or a cookie. Cute as can be in a little scalloped version. This is your PPBB. Tell us about it. Uh, so that one is kind of like a traditional cookie. I've got some here, and of mm -hmm. course, dogs really appreciate it when you cut them in holiday shapes. Oh, of course, so who doesn't? So little Christmas tree here. She's gonna have one right now. Maybe <laughs> that'll keep her quiet. Let's see. <laughs> And one of the things we should mention here too, John Ryan, is that, you know, we're talking about human foods that pe people are making in their own kitchens for their dogs. There are some definite do's and some definite don'ts, don'ts for our animals. Can you kind of run through the list that some of us may be really familiar with and others are not? Sure, yeah, I think it's, you know, it's always important to have an open dialogue with your veterinarian, but some of the foods that are straight up terrible for an animal are um, a dog. Onion, garlic, uh, avocado, and you have to be careful too because I think a lot of times you want to use like extra broth and food, but you have to be careful because there's onion powder and garlic powder and that stuff is not good for dogs. And a little can go a long way with any of the human ingredients, isn't that right? I mean, I always thought that some of the standards high on your list as no's were chocolate and grapes. Am I crazy on that? I've been a long time dog owner. No, that's those are also not uh, not good at all. So in the book, actually, in the beginning section, we've got some really good foods for dogs and then some absolutely nevers for dogs. And some nevers. And the absolute yeses, chicken broth, pumpkin, canned pumpkin specifically, that wasn't something I was aware of. Um, things that involve rice, I'm sure. Flour are all okay? Uh, yeah, you know, flour you have to go easy with. Uh, there's some flour uh, varieties. Like I used a little whole wheat flour in these. Rice flour is good. Uh, you want to make sure you don't give your dog too much of anything. But again, it's always good to kind of check with your uh, veterinarian and make sure that you're giving them the right stuff. We're watching video of Abby leaping towards the treats that you have baked and cooked for her. And I love, too, that you have really made this fun because so many people are sitting around their homes looking for things to do. And we've got maybe some quieter weeks ahead with the holidays. This is a great time to pull up your hydrant cookie cutters, your dog bones, your dog-shaped ones. I mean, Abby, of course, lapping it up. They, you know, our pets are great audiences and taste testers for this. For sure. And, you know, it's, it's a great time of the year to support the good work that the Anti-Cruelty Society does. And so every time you buy the book, either online or uh, order a physical copy, the proceeds benefit us and help uh, Chicago's animals in need. Fantastic. Well, thanks for sharing, Abby, and some of your recipes with us this morning. Uh, the book is the Anti-Cruelty Society Community Cookbook for Dogs, and it's available right now. For more information, you can check out social media, of course, or anticruelty.org. Thanks so much, John Ryan. Thank you much.